Africa is a mixture of very distinct territories, and that includes the religious aspect of it as well. For Cardinal Jean-Louis Touchon, President of the Pontifical Council for Interreligious Dialogue, this continent is also a very important place for dialogue with Muslims, a dialogue that is founded above all on living together. There is a great diversity. Needless to say, Islam is lived out differently in each country. However, I would say with regard to Islam in Africa as a whole, that in spite of everything, the dialogue about life is a reality. Islam is tolerant overall, obviously apart from some exceptions, like Nigeria, for example. In regard to the Catholic faith, the Synod from the very first day emphasized the immense growth of the Christian communities. Cardinal Touran believes that one of the reasons for this vitality is the African people's religious spontaneity. Africans are religious by nature. We should not forget that when the Christians arrived, and later on the Muslims, they found people who believed in a supreme being, which is the African traditional religion. This means that there was already favorable ground. The missionaries did not bring God, they brought Jesus Christ. The faith has progressively spread throughout Africa, even into the local cultures, an enculturation that continues naturally according to the French Cardinal. I believe that there are still many steps that need to be taken. Nevertheless, when we consider, for example, the African liturgies, especially their processions and songs, we can see that the progress made has not been altogether unsatisfactory. Little by little, we are beginning to have an African Christianity, which is at the same time open to the Universal Church. And that is something truly worthy of respect.